Today I'm going to do a comparison video between the Candy Heart Polari, the Sweet Treat Polari, and the Flavor King Pulat. I don't have any Flavor Kings or Sweet Treats left on the tree. The birds have really gone after them this year, and they've just fallen down. Squirrels, whatever. But I do have a lot of Candy Heart, and these are looking pretty ripe now, so I'm going to go ahead and pick some of these. That's the tree that's in front of you is the Candy Heart Polari. Birds have gotten these too, but I did cover some, so I have some good looking fruit. Uh, so there's the candy heart. I'll go over to the Flavor King, pick one of those, and then I'll go over to the sweet treat and see what's left. Those have been ripening for three to four weeks now, so there's not many left on there. We picked, I think, 20 pounds of sweet treat, or 25 pounds, and sent them to a family member of ours, and they are going to process them, dehydrate them, and can them. So we don't have many left. But let's go over to each tree, take a look, pick, pick a piece of fruit, and then uh, go taste them. Here's one of my Flavor Kings that I protected. I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off and pick this piece of fruit. Hopefully it's a good one. These could probably stay on a little bit longer, same with the candy heart, but they're already so sweet that I think it's a fair comparison. So let me go ahead and pick this guy. Beautiful piece of fruit. This has a really unique flavor. If you've never had a Flavor King Pool Hut, uh, you need to try one because they're really delicious. Oh, it looks like a bird got that. We'll still pick it. And then there's one good one here that a bird hasn't gotten. All right. And here's some sweet treat polaris still on the tree. Actually, there's still quite a few up here. It's kind of dark, so hopefully you can see it. But we've been picking these for a long time, so it's amazing if there's still fruit left. And these, the hang time on these sweet treat uh, is crazy. Like, you gotta have this tree if you don't have it, just for the fact that it's such a long window and it's so productive. And the fruit quality is excellent. So if you don't have this tree, this is a no-brainer. Sweet Treat Polari, you gotta get this. I'm gonna pick a few of these, and then I'm gonna go back and uh, compare them. Okay, I have my Flavor King Pulat, Candy Heart Polari, and Sweet Treat Polari all on the cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and compare these, and then also check the bricks level on all of them, and give a overview of that. So, up on the top, that's the Flavor King. On the left-hand side, that's the Candy Heart, and on the right, that's Sweet Treat Polari. The Sweet Treats are pretty soft, uh, so they're super, right? They're gonna be, the bricks level on those I know is gonna be ridiculous. Flavor King probably could use another week. And Candy Heart will stay on the tree, just like the Sweet Treat, it has a really long hang time. It'll stay on the tree for another three weeks if birds don't eat it. But at that point, I mean, they're so sweet. They're really delicious, especially if you chill them. Uh, but right now is a perfectly fair comparison to just to get the overall flavor, that sort of thing. So anyway, let's start with the Sweet Treat Polaire. I'm gonna pick one of these. Color on this is beautiful. So here's a Sweet Treat Polaire. Beautiful, dark red, or kind of light red. Anyway, really nice coloration, bright. Grab one more just to show you. All right. Now I will go ahead and cut one of them open one from each of the pieces of fruit I have, and compare the insides and the outsides in a detailed way, and then obviously try them. Okay, I went ahead and cut them open. I can tell the sweet treat is 100%. It doesn't get any riper than this. The Flavor King is pretty close. That little reddish hue on the outside, that will get a little bit more pronounced as it starts to ripen a little bit more, but it still looks pretty ripe. I bet it'll be pretty sweet, have a nice flavor, have that wonderful plum flavor that a lot of people know and love. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, I can tell the candy heart's not totally ripe. It's close. I mean, it's it's within a few, I'd say four or five days probably of being uh, pretty spot on ripe. But there is a little, little, little bit of white on the inside of it. That'll turn completely dark red when it's totally ripe. But I think it's still good enough that I can try it and compare it, even check the bricks level. Although you can assume in two weeks the bricks level on the candy heart will be higher, maybe even perhaps significantly so, uh, if I let it ripen a little bit more. But I think it's a fair comparison. It'll still taste really nice. So let's start with the candy heart. Let's take a closer look at that. Here's the inside of it. Has a little bit of a reddish hue. It only gets that when it's really ripe. So most of the time it'll just be that kind of yellow off color. But when it gets super ripe, it'll have a little bit of a reddish hue. Wonderful piece of fruit. Let me go ahead and try this. Very sweet. 
nice plum flavor. I mean, not a plum flavor like Santa Rosa or Flavor King, but it has a a nice flavor regardless. It's uh, kind of like the best version of just a standard plum that you could possibly imagine. It's sweet. It's still firm and crisp, even after all this time on the tree ripening. It's a great plum. I would give it... Well, wait, I'll hold off on my, my evaluation. Overall, it's excellent. Great piece of fruit. I'll be curious to see what the Brix is on that compared to some of the others. Let's move over to the Flavor King. So here's the Flavor King. Nice color. Has a mixture of kind of brownish and maroon. This one is medium sized. These do get quite large. Unfortunately, the animals usually get them when they get really big. I had several really big ones and the squirrels knocked them off the tree before they could ripen. Didn't even eat them, just knocked them off. So that's frustrating. But regardless, this is a pretty good size. And I'll show you the inside. So this will get more pronounced, the reddish on the outside, as it ripens more. If it was just up to the fruit and the animals weren't going to go after it, this could stay on the tree probably for another week or two. And it will get absolutely amazing by the end of those two weeks. But the problem with the late ripening fruit, which the Candy Heart and Flavor King are both these varieties, is it's just hard to prevent them from getting attacked by the animals. So it's always a battle. Okay, let me go ahead and try the Flavor King Poet. Oh, that is good. Um, it has a wonderful flavor. I don't think there's a plum with a better flavor. The Santa Rosa, Weeping Santa Rosa, when it's was spot on ripe, it has a similar flavor. But this tastes fantastic. It's still crunchy and firm, but it has a, has a ton of sweetness. And it's just overall phenomenal. I don't think there's a better plum or pulat or pulary out there than this guy right here. In my opinion, the Flavor King is probably the very best. When it's just like the one I just tried, nothing compares. That's just my opinion, but I think that's an accurate comparison. Uh, so anyway, Flavor King pull out. That is a fantastic piece of fruit. Flavor is really strong. Sweetness is really good. Texture is phenomenal. Can't really do better than that piece of fruit that I just tried right there. Okay, let's move on to the, uh, the Candy Heart, though. Maybe it'll surprise me. So here's a Candy Heart. This is usually a medium-sized piece of fruit. The one I actually cut open is on the bigger side. But this one's like a pretty typical size. Bigger than the sweet treat, usually not as big as the candy heart. Nice color, it gets very dark. Let's take a look at the inside of the candy heart. This one's not 100% ripe. It'll get a dark red when it's 100% ripe, but still pretty close. Dog's playing with a stick outside. Okay, let's try the Candy Heart. Ooh, that's good too. It doesn't have that plum flavor that you get in the candy or the in the Flavor King, but it's better than the Sweet Treat. Comparing them side by side, Sweet Treat at peak ripeness, Candy Heart not even at peak ripeness. Candy Heart's better piece of fruit. So if you just have to choose one Pulary. I would probably say the Candy Heart is the way to go. I haven't tried the other Polaris out there, but Candy Heart is very good. The only problem with it is it ripens late. If you just want a productive tree that's gonna produce good fruit, Sweet Treat's the way to go. But if you feel like you can protect your fruit and you can get them to ripen correctly, Candy Heart's better. So number one, I would put Flavor King, number two, Candy Heart, number three, Sweet Treat on this category right here or within this little group that I have right here. Okay, let me check the bricks and then I'll get back to you in just a second. All right, so I checked the bricks on all three of these pieces of fruit. On the right hand side, the Sweet Treat had a bricks of 17. The Flavor King had a bricks of 22 and a half. And on the left, the Candy Heart had a bricks of 19. So maybe that's the reason why they tasted so you know, I like the Flavor King the best, but it just had a higher level of sweetness, but I don't think so. The complexity on the Flavor King is significant, and it's much more than the other two. And the Candy Heart has much more complexity than the Sweet Treat. The Sweet Treat is the most simple flavor of the three. Although I will say when it's not quite as ripe as it is right now, I might prefer it a little bit more. 
I don't know. It would have to compare a less ripe to a more ripe. But uh, anyway, my order for this tasting, Flavor King, Candy Heart, Sweet Treat. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.